tell the oxidation state of your coordination your uh, coordination compounds that's your complex you know. so basically in the exam they'll be giving you certain examples you should just calculate the oxidation number it's very easy but important thing is i already uh, uh, just uploaded a video where i've give, given you uh, the charge of the particular uh, complex yes that for your multi dentate ligands so please watch that you should first know the charge if you don't know the charge it's very difficult for us to calculate the oxidation state so for example, if this is given to us, what is EDTA? EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetate. In that video, I have shown you the structure also. How is the structure? Basically, it is CH2, CH2, N, N, CH3COO minus, CH3COO minus. This is again CH3COO minus tetraacetate. So what is the charge on this? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, isn't it? 4 is the charge. So, careful now. You are going to find out the oxidation number of the central metal atom. Here for CO, here for nickel, here for again CO. So, the one which you are going to find out, take it as X plus. EDT, how many did we say? 4. <coughs> so, 4. <coughs> which 4 is that? This is minus 4. Isn't it? So, is equal to, the overall charge is minus 1. And this, this comes to, if I write, x minus 4 is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 4 plus, it's equal to plus 3. This is how you will calculate. So you have to be careful with creating the gas. Go through that video, you clearly have already given the charge there. Watch that video. Now if I go back to this, I have to calculate the oxidation state of this. Put plus. Next, NO2. NO2 is minus 1. Charge is minus 1. So how many are there total? 2. So 2, write the number outside. And the charge out inside plus. Now this is an again a neutral ligand. First study the neutral ligand uh, table, anionic ligand table, cationic li ligand table. Then only come back to this piece. So this is a neutral ligand which I've already given. So for neutral ligand the charge is two into zero because two and zero plus. Again this is a neutral ligand. Ammonia is a neutral ligand. Take two into zero. There is no charge on this. This is an overall charge which is equal to 0. Then there is nothing given here. So x is equal to, now <coughs> this becomes minus 2. This is your 0 plus 0. Done. So uh, one more thing. Okay, there is one more thing here, isn't it? I didn't see that. Okay. There is NO3 here. NO3, the charge is, so how many are there? Only 1. That is your minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now we can do this is minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to, if I take this out, this becomes plus 3. Let's come back and solve this. Now potassium is out, that is your, your counter ion. So how many are there? 4. Plus 1, potassium charge is plus 1. Plus and nickel, the central metal ion, x. Cyano, how many are there? 4. The charge on cyano is minus 1. So... This and this gets cancelled. So x is equal to 0 to the charge on Let's come back and solve this. Plus 1. Done. Plus we need to find the oxidation state of cobalt. That is x plus your 4 into CO is your neutral ligand. So I again I'm telling you, please study that table. Then only it's easy for you to know these and how to solve these examples. So when x is equal to when 1 comes this side, this becomes minus 1. So here this is 0 for this complex, minus 1 for this complex, plus 3 for this complex, again, plus 3 for this complex. Let us go and solve further some more, some more examples for calculating the oxidation state. Some more examples for your oxidation state. Let's see this. Here I have to calculate there are many ligands, heteroleptic complexes. So cobalt, so x plus. Water is a neutral ligand. I am again telling you, please uh, first know what is a neutral ligand. As I have already mentioned in one of the videos, see what is an anionic ligand, cationic ligand, and then come back to this concept, please. So, water is a neutral ligand, zero. Here, cyano, <coughs> only one. So, one into minus one is a charge. Ethylene diamine, you have to be careful. Two into. Now, ethylene diamine, what is the formula? Basically, ethylene diamine is. CH2, CH2, NH2, NH2. So just see, it's going to link from here and here. Ammonia mean both are neutral ligands. This is basically neutral ligand, isn't it? The donor site is neutral ligand. So the charge is zero. So EN, the charge is always zero. Remember that. 
So, 0. Yeah, is equal to cross 2. <coughs> so, if I have to uh, solve this, yes, you can do plus 2. Okay, yes. x is equal to, if I have to take, I'm going to get x is equal to plus 3. Yeah, let's come back and see. Here, in this particular thing, your cobalt, your x, your bromine, 2 into minus 1. Ethylene diamine 2 into 0. Yeah, this is what? This is equal to plus 1. When I solve this, x is equal to <coughs> plus 3. Let's come back to this. Platinum is x. Chlorine is 4 into minus 1. The overall charge is minus 2. So x when solved, this comes about here. This becomes plus 2. Let's solve this. Chromium is x. Ammonia is again a neutral ligand. We very well know water is a neutral ligand. Ammonia is a neutral ligand. Plus 3 into the charge on chlorine is minus 1. When I solve this, I get x is equal to 0. And then this comes out. So here the charge is plus 3. Here the charge is plus 2. Here the charge is plus 3. Here the charge is plus 3. So simple, first important thing, you should know what is a neutral ligand, then what is a ionic ligand, cationic ligand, then only you will do this.